Hi, welcome. My name is Drew Besanson. I uh, live in the United States, Michigan more specifically, and I'm here with my shooting partner, Paul Phillips. My name is Paul Phillips. Uh, we are uh, ELR shooters and uh, we wanted to do a world tour and uh, go to different locations around the world to help support and promote extreme long range shooting. And so Drew uh, contacted me and he said he'd like to do a tour and so this is the second stop of many countries. Uh, the first one we went to is France for the King of Two Mile and King of One Mile. And then we were able to land a top five finish and then hopefully uh, we don't know the results yet, but hopefully we're top five here in South Africa. But had a great time here. Um, every All the facility, the travel, the paperwork was all very easy and very smooth from our coordination with Hendry. And um, the facility here is absolutely awesome. There's hunting available. There's extreme long range shooting available. And uh, a lot of other things that can be done in this in this region. Um, I just can't say enough of how f much fun we've had, and uh, how well the organization has ran, and uh, we just had a great time. The humility of Paul is quite underestimated at the time, considering the amount of world championships and other national uh, awards that he has done in shooting. I knew a year and a half into the shooting and. Paul and I got together about two years ago. I expressed to him the things I was hoping to do and truly believe that Paul, through everything he has accomplished and everything he does and how particular he is about every controllable item in extreme long range shooting, really brought us to this point today in such a very short time. I didn't always look at it as a short time, but as I understand being a year and a half in, it is. So again, we started in Congiers, France, had a top, 10 fin or top five finish there. Uh, hopefully today we uh, can say the same and uh, then go back to the United States. We also are going to Italy. We're uh, going to uh, Chile, et cetera. And we're just excited about extreme long range shooting. And we hope that uh, more people will want to come to South Africa even though they may look on it on a map and say, wow, that looks like a long way. I promise you it's worth it. Hendry Brink, Tad Arnold, his general manager at Guns and Bows, truly made it effortless. The reality is a few of the documents that needed to be filled out were already taken care of and the reality is when we went to check our guns at Customs in Cape Town, it was basically take a look and leave and then Hendry and Guns and Bows took excellent care of us and now we're here at PC's place in um, Karoo and this is an a place you wouldn't want to forget. Yeah, so I actually, uh, you know, we had a, the, the competition itself was, you know, one of the best organized events that I've been to, and I've been to a lot of them. Uh, very methodical, uh, very transparent. Everybody was having a good time. No complaints, no protests. Just a very well-ran match, you know, very uh, uh, uplifting and, 
and a lot of teamwork and camaraderie and a lot of international uh, rapport. Um, I also got to go on a hunt uh, and I had a great time. We we're actually able to put a lot of our skill sets with extreme long range shooting and the science of accuracy of accurately taking out a breeze buck at 575 yards. They did a great job setting that up. And that's the nice thing about coming here to do extreme long range shooting. There's also lots of hunting and a lot of other things that can make your vacation slash hunting and uh, shooting experiences bar none. I agree. Uh, this is a destination. I was hesitant <laughs> at first. And uh, when I first reached out to, to Hendry, uh, um, it was it was interesting and he said I will take care of everything and you know you think of South Africa and this is the first time that either Paul or I have been on this continent mm -hmm. so with that being said it's not only a gorgeous place to visit ELR the hunting that you can do mm -hmm. the trophies that you could put in your office or in your house will be a lifetime of memories mm -hmm. and I will tell you Probably the best thing about being here are the people. When you have a good round, people all applaud. No matter where you're from, no matter whether they know you or they just met you, they're excited about it. And I'd like to say, you know, um, my, there's a lot of uh, perceptions when coming to Africa. Right, there's a lot of Americans that they look at the news and they see all these things. Oh, it's not safe. It's dangerous to travel. You know, I honestly, every big city has their areas that you don't, you don't want to go into. But our experience is it's been fabulous. We haven't seen anything that would give us any indications that it was not safe. I think a lot of it's just you know making sure that you communicate with the right people, just like you would any any other location on the planet. You know and. Uh, so from that perspective, if anybody's had any hesitations, I'm absolutely no problem coming back. I mean, I, I have no, I actually want to bring my family now. I have no problems with having that fear now that I've been here and I witnessed everything. Absolutely. It's the only uh, regret is that I never came to South Africa earlier. So don't have that regret. Come contact Guns and Bows, talk to Henry, talk to Tad, talk to PC, who has this extraordinary sanctuary here in Karoo, even have a hippopotamus. But with <laughs> that all being said, don't, don't, if you have a bucket list, make it, put a check mark in it, and do it here with this group. Because I will tell you, besides the ELR, the great food, it's the extraordinary relationships that you will never forget. And for all the long range and extreme long range enthusiasts around the world, I would say that being that this is the location of King of One Mile and King of Two Mile, which is a great match and challenging wins, but it's also a location that you can also do any type of hunt that you may have wanted to do. So for me, it was a dual bucket list, right? Yeah. Checking off the box for South Africa ELR, and then also checking off my first uh, African hunt. So it's kind of a one-two punch for me. I mean, it's, it's amazing.
So we have a bat machine action, it's a CTH, which is a um, you know, 338 Lapua bolt face. And we have it in a 33XC cartridge designed by David Tubb. And we're shooting a 300 grain burger pushed by 565 Viterbury powder in a Peterson cartridge case and, and ignited by a Federal Premium 215M primer. The reason why I went with the CTH BAT is because we were starting off with the BAT EX for the heavy gun and it worked so reliable and it was such good accuracy we wanted to maintain with the lighter gun the same level of accuracy and precision. The proof's in the pudding. You know, King of Two Mile Championships and a lot of other national titles and other organizations and you know we want to keep the same level of accuracy. So BAT machine is bar none in my opinion the best in the world. Um, it's topped off with the Night Force which also have been with them for several decades, winning world championships and national championships and national records. Their motto is rugged, reliable, and repeatable, and they are. And that's why we kept with the Attacker 7-35 F1 scope. And the nice thing about the F1 is, no matter what magnification you use, because on varied distances and varied mirage days, you might have to you know, go up and down with the magnification, and the reticle is always the same dimensions for when you're doing whether you're doing leads or holdovers or milling or whatever, it's the same. So we prefer the F1 Night Force ATEC R. When I got into extreme long range shooting, I wasn't sure what to expect with rifles. And I just followed Paul's lead on what to get. And first we got a 416 Barrett. Now that I have my left-handed, yes, left-handed uh, 33XC, I will tell you, they're a dream to shoot. Follow someone who's had a lot of success because they have a process that they have built over their career as things have changed in rifles and components, etc. Just follow it. I will tell you, and this is no slight upon myself, my job is to listen, learn, and make good shots. You know, this rifle with Drew, you know, he shoots it so nice. Uh, for a guy that's only been not even shooting two years, um, he was 12 for 12 in qualification day, and the groups were, you know, half-minute groups on the plate. Unbelievable, you know. The, so, you know, heck, it's whatever you want to make of it. You know, you can take it as far as you want to. There's a lot of adjustability, no matter what your size is, shooting or neck issues you might have, whether it's adjusting the butt plate, the cheek plate, etc., triggers, etc. But I will tell you one thing, Night Force. You can see everything. <laughs> with yeah, us. I mean, the Night Force for me, I've been with Night Force for a long time, you know, several decades. And all my world championships and national titles and records has been with Night Force. So, you know, their model is rugged, reliable, and repeatable. And they are. And I don't get cold. Hi, my name is Henry Brink. I'm from Guns and Bows and I'm the main organizer of the King of Two Mile South Africa. And Drew and Paul, thank you very much for joining us this year. Um, as usually we put a nice match together and it was nice to hear some good commentary from you guys. On, but yeah, thanks. Too much wind. Too much wind. <laughs> I, I can do nothing about it. I, I tried to do all the buttons on the fan but I couldn't find the right one for you. But um, yeah, thanks for joining for joining us, Drew, for making contact with me, and let's get everything together. And you ended up here, and it was really nice to have you guys here. And it's a good influence for our shooters. A lot of guys were actually surprised to see. Hang on, I've got two guys from the state here, and Paul is with you. And I think he was you were had a lot of conversations and I mm -hmm. think a lot of them were the same questions over and over. Sure. But I really appreciate your help of giving your lifetime experience and in ELR to these mm -hmm. guys and you as well 
you know, you experience different stuff in the States and mm -hmm. in France as you would France. Yeah. Never been there before, would love to shoot there. And, um, but yeah, I think we've, we had great fun. And it was a great experience for myself and for everybody. And hopefully we'll see you again next year. Um, mm. See how the cookie crumbles and what we can put together for you guys. Maybe bring some friends with. Absolutely. I, you know, I've been to a lot of matches around the world, ELR and other disciplines. And I can tell you, you know, from my perspective, the integrity, the transparency, the communication, everything's been very well ran. Mm. And Thanks. at no time did I ever have any questions or concerns or, you know, the, from the safety aspect, to the briefings, everybody helping each other out, getting off off the line. We were finished by very early each day. Mm -hmm. um, so no, from that aspect, it's been awesome. Um, I do think that there'll be interest from other countries, mm. um, oh, yeah. not only the United States. Mm. Um, now that we've been, been here, we can spread the word and say, you know, this is, you know, you can hunt, mm -hmm. you can shoot ELR, yeah. see the, the country and the culture. Um, you know, I've had a lot of questions from other guys that ask me, well, what's it like? Are they the same as us? And absolutely they're the same as us. I mean, we're all very, very similar. We all love guns. We all love shooting. We're all doing the same thing for the same purposes. Um, so absolutely. I mean, it's very, very similar in every country we visited. The same concerns, right? We have the same concerns with what we do and what we love. Mm. And we all love the same thing. We like shooting guns a long ways. Yeah, a long ways. As we build this brand of ELR throughout the world and be some level of ambassadors for it, South Africa, king of one and king of two, has taken it different. If you wanted to hunt, you could hunt because we have PC here that runs this uh, Karoo uh, Conservatory that if you want to hunt, you can hunt. So it becomes a place of destination that it's not just show up, geez, I got really bad wind, didn't have the best day, and all, I have to go all the way back to my country. No, come, stay longer, come early, stay late. I promise you, it'll be fabulous. And I will tell you about communication, Henry. It's normal for you, but it's not for me. Your communication has been fabulous right down to every detail that you always do. You're always happy, <laughs> smiling, laughing. But everybody, there is a, there's a group of guys and gals here that are young and some are older. Everything in between that just everybody wants to learn and people want to know what we're doing different in the States, what they're doing good here, how they can improve, etc. But I will tell you, the camaraderie and the quality of people are second to none. So you say the older people are you and the young yeah. people are Paul and myself. <laughs> <laughs> you had to come in. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I should have warned myself. You should have warned yourself. I should. No, but to come back to to new home or the place for PC organizer runs is, is what's nice about this venue is 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 it's got accommodation for everybody. Oh, it's got a beautiful yeah. kitchen staff preparing the best food you can think. And of course, then PC can run the hunting packages for you as well. And I think, and I think, I think, really for me, I mm. mean, now that I've been here, looking back upon it, if I was to tell anybody, but what's it like? It's all inclusive. Mm. I mean, you're met at the airport, you're, you're caravaned up to the location, and it's all inclusive: lodging, food, hunting, laundry, ELR, and just having a good time. Mm. I mean, it's all inclusive. It's awesome. Mm. But anyway, guys, thanks. Thanks for you being here. I really appreciate it and for taking part. Well, in thanks our match. for having patience with us and and uh, well, that was that yeah. was easy part. When he yeah. says us, it really means me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean it's extra special when you yeah, host international shooters and you take care of them, and we don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. We just show up and have fun. Yeah. It really takes the travel part and the worry part and out of our hands. So. That part, thank yeah. you very much for all I'm you've done. Appreciate it. Glad I could be part of it. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Ah. <laughs>